I have an amazing uh, healing testimony that happened when we had a guest speaker, David Diga. He received a powerful healing. Could you please help me welcome Juan up to the stage? Juan, thank you so much. Uh, if you can stand on this side, please. Thank you so much for agreeing to share this powerful healing that took place in his life. Would you please start with sharing what kind of problem did you have in your body? Well, I had a tumor right here above, above my bone, neck bone. It was growing and growing, and I didn't know what it was. So I was just, day by day, I was like, what, what is this? So I went to the doctor and told me it was a tumor, but they didn't know it was, what was cancer. Okay, and so what was happening with your body when you went to the doctor? Were you sick, and what did they tell you? That I had cancer, and then I was getting sicker and sicker. And um, doctors told you that you had cancer. From that point on, um, what were you experiencing in your body? How did it affect your daily life? It was horrible. <laughs> Nothing nice. Come on, guys. Let's put our hands together for Juan. You know, it's not easy to stand up here and give a testimony. Sometimes it's really hard. And, but, you know, we are so excited about what God has done in your life. You know, having cancer is not fun, okay? And we talked a little bit earlier, and he explained to me that he was getting a sicker and sicker, and when he went to the doctor, doctors, they told him that the uh, fluids from this uh, tumor, they spread throughout his whole body, and they started to affect even his heart, his liver, and his other organs in his body. And so at that point, he needed uh, a treatment and a lot of other things that he was actually going through. And uh, Juan, would you please tell us how... Did you receive your healing? I pray to God night and day. Yeah. When I wake up, I pray, thanks God, I have open eyes. Okay, so daily you were praying to God that he would heal your body. And I know your older sister, Maria, she uh, took you to that service that was going on here when we had a guest speaker. What happened when he prayed for you? I felt it good. <laughs> After the chills. <laughs> chills going through your body, yes. Okay, so you felt the chills going through your body. And uh, what happened next when you went to the doctor? And, and what happened to your body? Well, I went to the doctor and told him what's going on. Do I have cancer or not? Because they told me they don't see nothing. So they told me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> so... That cancer started in 2017, and we had um, the pastor prayed for you just a few weeks ago. And um, after the prayer, you went to the doctor, and doctor said that you were in remission, right, in recovery. Is that true? Yes. And now you are free from cancer? Yes, for right now. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. <laughs> That is so awesome. We just rejoice to God with you. And I know that he will come back with actual medical report saying that there is no cancer for good. And, and the cancer is not coming back in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, Juan, would you please share a word of advice to people who might be struggling with sickness? And what would you tell them? Pray to God. <laughs> come on. Pray to God. Our God is good. <laughs> Juan, thank you so much. We appreciate you coming. You can go back to your seat. Thank you. Guys, there is nothing that's impossible for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we believe that healing will be like breathing in this place. We believe that incurable diseases will become curable in an instant with the power of God. Amen.